Today we're going to do a Vectric Aspire in inches. It's going to be a fairly simple VCAV. It's actually a, a VCAV screen for a cafe bar or the underside of a bar. Like an inlay, large inlay of six panels. I'm going to show you today how to import a design and set up the VCAV in in inches okay so we're going to alter this to inches and in our case this is a we need this to be 36 inches long and three quarters of an inch in thickness in Z 18 inches wide is correct uh, we need the First of all, the top of the material to be our zero, and we also need the start of the program to be in this bottom left hand corner, which is normal for a CNC router, but you can have it in any corner or the center that you wish. Um, I think, yeah, dark cherry would be fine to alter the material that is presented is just a simple matter of just altering the selection here but uh, I prefer dark cherry for this we're gonna okay that so we're gonna go here and we're gonna bring our bitmap in go back to the 2d screen ah it appears I've chopped it off a little here so what I'm going to do is reverse that I'm gonna have a look see what I what I've done wrong here okay we're back uh, yes I just saved it uh, in the wrong format so here we go that's better so what we need to do is just perfect so that's exactly what we want with minimal I think that fits exactly so you can do this with I you know it's just a, a piece of of wood after all you don't have to work within a thousandth of an inch this is a piece of art okay so we have our art so now we need to draw some vectors so now we need to have some vectors drawn now to do that you just go to here trace bitmap So it already grays this out for you. Now you can alter some of these slider bars, but you know this is set automatically. And we're dealing with a black and white picture. So all you simply do is well press preview and just make sure that the vectors look to be well, what you want really or what you're looking for. They do. So you press simply press apply and close and you have your vectors so then what we need to do is select the vectors so what we need to do is go to the toolpath tab now you can either go over here and open the tool toolpath tab or you can go here and press the toolpath tab which then dismisses the drawing tab so what we're looking for is a VCAV engraving toolpath okay so first of all we're going to select the correct vbit tool for this job because it's a large job 
and we need a, a large bit uh, this is a inch and a quarter um, we'll leave those a second let's go in and edit now so it's an inch and a quarter 90 degree pass depth half an inch final pass that's fine in other words this is stock to leave um, clearance pass this is the amount of Z height over the material that's been cut so in other words it's going to retract quarter of an inch which is fine spindle RPM 12,000 RPM that's fine feed rate 100 inches per minute that's pretty fair um, plunge rate 30 inches per minute that's also okay I don't have a tool changer so being tool number one is not going to be a problem so we're going to okay that um, I'm not worried about that and this is all greyed out I don't have to worry this is just a standard V V bit carving ramp I'm not even worrying about a ramp move um, I'm not worrying about those either it's a straightforward V pit carving safe said 0.2 of an inch look 0.2 of an inch is is fine um, I'm not going to argue with that at all Vetric Aspire you know sort of preempts what you want to do as well and it'll soon let you know if you're doing something wrong so uh, vbit cav 1 yeah that'll do calculate ah here we go no vector selected okay that would be I thought I had them selected but that's better calculate that's okay actually uh, because this is going to overlay on top of a another piece of material and we actually want it to cut through so we're going to say okay and we're going to simulate this now There we go. That's actually fine. That's exactly what we want. We want a border with in between the leaves and the branches V carved out. And you can see the areas where we actually go through the board and that is actually fine do you know what I think we're going to do I think we are going to change that bit for a 60 degree bit in actual fact so so we're gonna go in here to a selection and we're going to make a new tool in the tooling list so we're going to say we're going to say copy this one uh, we'll leave the bottom one selected now we're going to alter this the diameter of this tool is 1.25 60 degree and we're going to press OK 
and we're going to go back in here to edit so okay we've upped the RPM the feed rate is the same 100 inches per minute Pass. Yeah, this is all okay 30 inches per minute yeah that, that's fine we'll go along with that and we're going to recalculate and you see the difference that this makes yep we know and there we go there's the difference now this is the the effect that we want because behind this there is going to be a I believe a light green back in so we have our border that looks like a picture frame and we have our all our leaves and our branches and then we have the back in material which is going to be a light color it could actually be light blue as well <laughs> not really sure um, okay so if you can imagine there's going to be six of these all placed in a row which is going to be very effective okay so we can close that now and we go to this first one and we're going to actually delete this um, we're going to delete that first one so we end up just with this one that looks beautiful actually okay so post processor so we're going to save the toolpath and we're going to save it to the desktop I think we're not going to output to a machine because this computer is not connected to the machine um, now a lot of people have a little bit of trouble with this now if your machine is not listed in here okay obviously if you was writing the code in inches it would be G code sorry if you was writing the <laughs> this program in millimeters it would be G code millimeters tap but in this case it's inches so it's G code inches tap that is standard G code save tool paths I'm going to save it to our desktop VCAV 2 okay and save so there it is done very very nice representation there so I hope you've liked this Vetric Aspire tutorial today on making a very presentable 2.5D VBIT carving uh, bear in mind there's going to be six of these all in a you know set on um, a bar actually on the underside of a bar and uh, it's going to look very very nice so thank you for joining me and please press like and subscribe and I hope you join me again for the next Vetric Aspire tutorial bye for now <laughs>